tea. So let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Messy Monday. That is it. Let's do it. Girl, it is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot no, going yes, on. No, it's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. I got the First on the knock and then I'ma talk it. I'ma sugar honey iced tea. Do you wanna sell now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along before you get red. P.O.P. You can't stick with me. Come on, girls, let's get. Well, let's see Monday. Hey creeps and welcome back to Messy Monday. Yes, jacket. Yes, hat. Yes, outfit. Monday, as you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP, and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? One thing I don't wear is clothes on these streams. <laughs> Baby, it's little shirt, little something right quick. Carrie already said. Yeah. And you know when she said that, November needs to go on and get up out of the way. That's a fact. We are about to be in December. 2025 is right around the corner. I just want to say congratulations to you for being a soldier, for fighting through all of 2024. Baby, we have been through so much. And for you to still have your mental, even if you had Bye. a little bad day or whatever the case may okay. be, you're still here and I congratulate you. So shouts out to you, Fred, because this thing called life ain't easy. All right, honey. Besides all that little sweet, I'm going to shout my friend out and that is fire. Hey. And thank you so much for having my post notifications on. That means so much to me. You were the first to comment on my Twitter post. I don't know how y'all be doing it, but you be doing it. So if y'all can go over to her Twitter page, give her a retweet, a post, a follow, whatever the case may be. I would greatly appreciate that because we are a Zone Navy and a Zone Navy stick together. All right? Hey, bitch. All right. Well, let's go to get to y'all favorite part, man. It's the sugar honey iced tea because you girls love staying. In First of the sugar honey iced tea, we have Sky Jackson. Child it on call. Where's Jackson? We already knew she was pregnant, but now we know for sure. Sky Jackson is pregnant. As you can see, she had her little jacket on, her nice little bunnet with her pink little boot shorts. But that ain't what everybody was looking at, honey. They was looking at that stomach. If I was Scott, whoever took this picture, bitch, you gotta see me. Cause how you gonna tell my business before I tell my business? Why are you outside? I mean, not why you just outside in general, cause niggas gotta be outside, but like, she should have hit a Hallie. You just can't be outside being Scott Jackson just Acting like you're not Sky Jackson. But, honey, what's Sky? Why? Why are you squat? Why are you going to eat? I can't tell Miss Mamas what to do, but what I know she need to do is <laughs> is stay out these streets. But no, a serious question: Do they not have a car? <laughs> because nah, last for time they was out on the belt line, tussling, no car. She was walking <laughs> this time, no car. <laughs> Bust again. <laughs> Where's the car? Y'all, at this point, this should have just stayed at Disney. But I don't okay. know, child. Sky, you was that girl. How you let Ice Fight? <laughs> How you let Ice Fight come in here and do that? Y'all. <laughs> Just like that at first. <laughs> oh my no, god! Man. It's always that one boy that He's coming stupid. in and just make everything come crashing down. I don't uh, blame the guy. I think Sky over there running him with her little ass. Look at her. Look at her face right here. She is so serious. Uh uh. Why the? Why you? You know what I'm saying? It's Sky. Sky is the problem. All right, that's her life. All we can do is let her live it. But you want to know something? I think them people who be catching her and him on the street, that's some of his people. We ain't never seen Scott this much. That's his folks. His folks want us to know what they doing. They together want him to be this guy who's dating Scott. You know what? If it ain't and y'all, her, 
The damn jacket was open, girl, because she was hot. Look at what he got on. Look at what she got on. She's hot. <laughs> Why are you outside? <laughs> want him to be this guy who dating Scott. You know what? If it ain't about me. Now she's stuck with Ice Spice and his baby. Next cat. Next to the dog cat, we got Diamond, Diamond Flawless and, and Bad, Bad Man Cat. Oh, my God. <laughs> Money and all, but that boy looked like um a ninja turtle. <laughs> Batman Kebo is not so appealing to the eye, okay? And Diamond last boyfriend wasn't either. Uh the dreadhead guy. I think she liked him a little ugly. King said is King said, but I think she like him a little ugly. But girl, we knew. You think like, bitch, you stupid. Girl, we could have told you that was the trade. What did you think was gonna happen? Coming from a man that got a big hill. Bitch, you oh, crazy. My God. Girl, Miss Kay even got her knees done. Go away. You thought that was gonna be a good relationship? I know you that. Girl. He actually didn't get his knees done. Uh, diamond. You over there that the transformer. <laughs> <laughs> a whole new person. Autobots, roll out. <laughs> but, I'm dating into my business. Girl, me thing got her ass did. <laughs> Shut up. Ain't that, um, what's his name? Uh, bro, sister, uh. CJ So Cool. What's his name? CJ So Cool. Wasn't they good sisters at first? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, she told you so. And she liked him because he looked like her daddy, as you can see. So she got daddy issues. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he in the comments talking about he ain't never dated her. <laughs> Missy. I don't know. Well, child, I guess she about to be on the internet crashing out again. Y'all get my yeah, bed. she is. <laughs> and it happens, too. When they break up with her, that's when she go immediately into crash out mode. She be like, this medication, I ain't taking it. I'm about to crash out. God damn. I hate that for her. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Nerd, she's out again. If it ain't about me, let's get in this case. Next one, y'all get, we got one Mickey and a B. Now, child, I don't know the point over all these crazy ass couples. Where the hell did they meet at? Obviously, it was at a Trump rally because I don't know. Hold on, first of all, let's talk about this. Vicky, this ain't necessarily godly of you to be dating this heathen of a man, okay? And you know another thing, uh, Vicky, I know damn well, and I mean damn well, he ain't dating you and ain't putting that thing in you because he's a nasty nigga. He'll stick his vaina in whatever container it come with. He'll stick it in a tuna container. He'll stick it in a chunky soup container. Anything he can stick that goddamn vaina in, he's sticking it in something, okay? And I know he done stuck it up in you. That ain't necessarily godly like. Not this I'm saved and sanctified, whoa, Vicky. <laughs> Not this I've been baptized, filled with the Holy Ghost, I'm whoa, Vicky. <laughs> Not this I done turned my life around, I'm going straight to heaven, whoa, Vicky. <laughs> now I'm Mother Mary Virgin, whoa, Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> and what the fuck, Nunu? She out here trying to fight the girl uh, oh my God. or something? You should have been worried about Vicky. That's your problem. So Y'all be worried about the wrong woman and the other woman, the woman that's on your man. But the word on the curve is the girls are saying they both a little slow, so, <laughs> so it's gonna work. I don't know. Don't get me like, I ain't saying that's what the girl said. And let's take it back. Did she not learn her lesson with the boot guy? Uh uh. What? You know, gonna split her in half. I just wanna know how long that no sex into marriage lasts, cause he finna throw some. And 
Girl, you always on your post talking about Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. So, girl, you know what? I ain't never girl, feel bored please, anyway. I'm but I'm just saying. But anyway, if it ain't about me. Going right up in that mouth. Thinking, this ain't pleasing to G-O-D. <laughs> <laughs> She gonna be like, it's probably not that ungodly to give him a little head. But you can't have a scoochie. You know, he over there power driving. Girl. <sighs> hey, for the Chicago ID, we have Santana and Tyrone. <laughs> These couples is stressing me out. What is going on in the water? I don't want to drink. Oh, hello. Tyrone, Santana, well, Vicky, a B. Anyway, Santana was just on the red carpet with BET or who was in the shade room, whoever. All bubbly and giggly with little talking about his man and how he was so happy and stuff. But then come to find out, try to man up, put paws on him, beat him stupid. Dumb, 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 dumb. Knock him dumb. Girl, bet it the f out of me. So now I'm looking at, I'm looking around at my friends and I see them. Girl, everybody quiet as a mouse. Girl, you a man. You supposed to, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm shamed. So we just right here. I'm like, y'all just hate me how he tripping. Like you always put your hands on. So. You like that. You know, we get back to the hotel. We get there. He like, I'm sorry for putting my hands on you. You just really be trying to like a we trying to take it down with you or whatever. But I we lay down or whatever. He just telling me like, you know, he's sorry. You don't really be, you know what I'm saying? I be trying him. And so telling your mouth sometimes, huh? You probably do be taking it too far. That boy not wait there, don't disrespect him or whatever. So he was just telling me how he ain't mean that how he really, really loved me. And he rocked me to bed. <laughs> Something wrong with y'all. When y'all like to get beat on, something is going on. What is the problem? Now, see what don't sit right in my spirit is you making it seem like domestic violence is cute. Uh, that talk is nice. That shit is not cute. Some girls are really going to hospitals and dying behind this because they really can't Damn. let go. You out here having fun with like it's all oh, he bust me through the washer dryer, <laughs> he me down, rock me to bed. Okay, ah. girl. When he rock him into that six feet under grade, don't say nothing, girl. Y'all be letting these men think that that's just cute. Well, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all two big men. Right. Y'all can do what y'all wanna do. If y'all wanna rustle around like. <laughs> well, if it ain't about me, let's keep it. Let's get. All right, that's all I have for the sugar honey ice tea. Let's Get into this man. Uh, First of the ducket, we have Bronte, Aaliyah J, and Justin. Oh, so definitely Justin and Aaliyah J have went onto their YouTube channel, made a video. They discussed about content creators and their material that they're putting out now, and this is what they had to say. As far as YouTube mm -hmm. or content creation, where are you at with that? Like, I don't know, because I feel like the market is so like different now. Like, I feel like now you could go viral if you woke up to somebody in a, a Walmart and be like, ma'am, like, your outfit is beautiful and now you get to go viral over that. It's like, I don't understand, like, I I don't know. I feel like my content has a little more substance than that, but I have to understand that that's the market now. That's what gets- But what would that have to do with him? I don't understand that. <clears throat> I always tell people like, this your race. Just cause somebody make it, they was before, after you, whatever. Bro, you don't know they struggle. You don't know what the hell they went through. Some people got the craziest stories who got fame and money now. And I'm going to tell you right now, I wouldn't want to go through none of the some of these people have gone through with their family. Like, I would have never wanted to be Krishana Tesecki sitting on Zeus telling them our deepest, darkest secrets about our family. No, I don't care how much they got paid for. I'm straight. Cause now I just got to sit here with this money and just try and figure out how to find happiness and sh no. Popping now, like those little <laughs> um, videos. And I just, I guess I just haven't, I haven't, what I want to say. I don't know what I want to say. So I'm straight. Um, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I think it's just a different social media time. And I think a lot of people 
who are like that come from our space of like YouTube do do podcasts now because that's basically what we were doing, right? Like on YouTube, podcasts, basically, like, like just sitting. Yeah, I ain't trying to be messy, but. That was real specific. Like, oh, you going to a store, ma'am, your outfit cute, and whoa, 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 whoa. If you don't like this man, say that. Say that. Because that was that was shade, baby. He want to say it one shade, baby. That was shade. So y'all already know Ramonte ain't buying his stuff for nobody. He going to say what I hate when people say no shade and you dead ass be trying to be shady. Like, no, keep it shady. You know what I'm saying? He want to say it how he want to say it and don't give a damn who don't like what he said. And this is what he said. I be showing love to that bitch. I be commenting under her stuff. I commented on her stuff before. I give it compliments. Woo, 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 woo. Bitch, I don't even go on Walmart. And I didn't go viral off complimenting people. Bitch. Let's make it clear. I have hit viral mother videos. You ain't wrong, queen. Your bob is fine. Uh, get off the phone and get in the field. You almost knocked me over, bookie. Is a fruit roll up sticky? Bitch, <laughs> multiple, 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 multiple one. I can give a f Don't motherfucker try to make a steam like bitch, um... This is what irritates me. These bitches always do like little underlying shit towards me or say something like underlying petty, like catty, so I could like respond. Now, if I respond like how I want to respond, I'm always like aggressive or I'm overdoing it. Mm hmm. Love to play. And victim. then, that's why I don't even say nothing no more. Y'all, I, I promise you, it will be hard for me to address anything moving forward because people really try and make you look like you the stupid one when in reality they know they tried to play with you and you're not ever gonna play with me i am not to be played with i see you cutting your control on before you even try me you know what i'm saying you just see a nigga niggas be like Let me see if I can press the power button on this nigga. Soon as you do it, you're going to find out you can't play with me. So, yeah, ain't no need to like, y'all, if y'all in a situation where you know your friend playing with you, but she, she or he trying to act like they not, girl, cut them off. Cut it short. Cut it short and sweet. Because don't even try and like get in your feelings and get to like expressing how you feel because they're going to try and play you. Don't do it. Leah, you sitting over there laughing when it's shading me. What the fuck calling y'all big? It wasn't funny when everybody was calling y'all big and making jokes about that. You want to, you want to make them up and they just call y'all huge, even though you're not. And I was being nice and I was defending your mother. I don't go into Walmart. I go into Target. Don't use me as a comparison. Do something else. Because y'all knew talking about me was going to end up somewhere. And people were going to tag me. And they did. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Y'all always with me y'all always questioning what god gives me and why i'm in the position that i am and why i'm winning i'm winning i'm going to keep winning and let people win Aaliyah j was winning at one point i don't know who uh that other person is but Aaliyah j was winning at one point i'm sure she's not broke so it's like i some sh i just take out the video y'all i ain't got time <laughs> and i win fights too but you know <clears throat> We off that. Stop talking about me. Stop. Now, this is how I feel. Anybody can go and do what Ramonte is doing, right? But it's not what Ramonte is doing that is making him viral. It is his personality. That is who people love. I it is him being Ramonte. You know what I'm saying? Like, my nigga, that, that's his calling. Let him have that. One, one, one in the chat. I've seen a lot of people go to Walmart and say something to a customer or whatever the case may be, and the video will have five views. It is Ramonte and how he delivers it. It is him. The people love him, not what he's doing. They love who he is and how he's authentically himself. So I don't know why this person can't be happy for whatever any creator does. It might not be your niche or what you like to do, or what you like to watch, but there's somebody out there that likes watching what Ramonte does. It may not be your type of content. I do agree. Back then, YouTube, you really had to work hard to make videos go viral. You had to work hard for content. But hey, it's a new era where the girls, they like whatever they like now, honey, and you can't get mad off somebody else's come up. Just keep doing your thing. The people who want to see you are going to watch you and the people who want to see Ramonte are going to watch Ramonte. That's there is enough money 
out here in these streets That's a fact. for all of us to eat. Because the word on the curb is Justin. They say you only on the vlogs is because you be messing with people. And then on top of that, they said they didn't even know you did make a video, girl. They just thought all you did was talk about your surgeries. Mm. Man, I don't know, bro. They said back in 2016 and 18, you was only good then because she was Leisha J's friend. And that's the only reason the girls knew who he was, but. He must be friends with Ramonte. Come on, and then some folks were saying, why did Ramonte throw the shade at Aaliyah when he should have threw it at Justin? But the game is, Aaliyah knew exactly who he was talking about. Because when I heard it, no, Tino Shay, I knew exactly who he was talking about. So why did she kick in and cackle? She should have corrected him right there and said, well, who are you speaking on? Let him call out who he's speaking on. The girl, when he said, girl, it wasn't, it wasn't funny when everybody was calling you big, you know, no was it? Girl, I, 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 Girl, it wasn't funny then, but all you want to laugh when you talk about my content. Oh, okay, I got it. Nigga. Oh, oh my God. Can you stop? Appreciate you for the 10 gift subs, Chris A. Woo! Let's go. But, you know, it is what it is, and if y'all still don't understand why he a little bit upset with Leah, because when you edit your videos, you can edit that out, but you kept that in knowing who that was a reference to. But, don't get me to stir in the pot. <laughs> Catch it! <laughs> if it ain't about me, let's get it. Let's get Next to the docket, we got Kelly and Mumu. Mumu. Child, I'ma go so to the bathroom. Because I don't know first of all, <laughs> somebody come and fight me. Why? Did Kayla drag her out the car? Somebody come and bite me twice. Oh, you got me up. I'm on your neck. <laughs> Mumu, Mumu, you want you the same one who was like, you too pretty. <laughs> they didn't say what they used to pretty be fighting, girl. So I guess you don't got scared, girl. You said, look, if I can't beat him, I'm going to join them. <laughs> because now these two will <laughs> see out as friends. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Because this is this is crazy. Cause I, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> this can't say. This can't say every time, every time I see. This can't say every time I see you, I'm gonna beat your ass. Y'all, why is he doing this? I had to pee. She did it once. She did it twice. Look, Moo said, Moo said, Moo said, girl, I can't talk. Y'all, I was in the bathroom <laughs> cracking up. Y'all know when he get to talk about Kayla B, girl, I be over it. <laughs> But he was dying in here. Who's that? Who's that? Y'all made it in it. Look. Look, if I can. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie. That girl, the girl did hang with uh, Kayla one time. But no, if, if somebody, somebody beat my ass and they tell me, and they tell me every time I see you, I'm gonna beat your ass and they been beating my ass. Girl, I'm gonna be like, look, I'm tired. I am tired. Can we, can we talk? Can we talk about it? Every time I see you in the club, I'm taking shots to you. Yeah, shots. Remember the tweet? She was like, girl, you still can't fuck me training at all. And then that's when that girl said, animals need to be in the game. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Yo, he can't get through it. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> hey, look, I'm telling you. Ain't nobody gonna keep fighting that crap. <laughs> that girl was hot. 
I'm talking fire. about this is a careful thing. Let's all move on. Yeah. I know that's right. Miss Thang said, but here's the tea. Now, let me tell you the tea. This is the world of the curve. The world of the curve is. Now, remember the guy that was fussing over? You know that girl, Mumu, uh, Mumu, Slow Slow, Momo, whoever? She got pregnant, right? And um, they was fussing over that guy. The girls was thinking that that wasn't the man's baby. Because it's kind of funny how Nell came to be her friend when her and that guy ain't dealing with each other. But the T is, that is still that guy's baby. It's just, she don't put him no more. And so, because, you know, he was she was still with one of the ops. So he like, oh, you from the office right with you. So he ain't claiming her, and she ain't claiming he has a baby daddy. So now I guess since they don't part ways, now Kayla B and Mumu, they friends. You know the what? It's just kind of ironic how Kayla, her friend, never the boy out the picture, but if he was still there, she'll probably still be banging her head through the washer and dryer, baby. <laughs> but I know she had, but she said, look, you got to go. <laughs> Lord, how am I to you? That is crazy. But it's cool, but at least she, <laughs> at least she said sorry. <laughs> that, that would be embarrassing to me. This girl done posted on her Instagram story, sorry, Mumu. <laughs> And everybody know how you bust my head in. So Kayla B felt bad for beating her up, girl. Because that's where I'm at with it. Oh, I hope she don't hurt that girl again. If it ain't about me. Then let's get kids. Hey! Next to the ducket, we have Sierra versus Infinity. Now, child, this is crazy because Infinity now talks to Jordan, who is Sierra's baby daddy. We all know Sierra has been going back and forth with Jordan for I don't know how long about, you know, taking care of the They've been through it for a long time. So, you know, Infinity is making content with him, whatever. Somebody hit her up and said, oh, you over there messing with Jordan, but what you need to be doing is tell him to take care of his shit, yada, yada, yada. Okay, I'm going to respond to this because I have the time right now and y'all really just be blowing me for real. Um, you say you mess with Jordan, you should be taking... You should be making him take care of. You should be making him. Friend. Be God. God damn. First of all, go back to school. Right. Read that right. Like, what's going on? Can you not read? What's the tea? She nervous. She scared. Oh my God, that bothered me more seeing it this time than it had all the other times I seen. Girl, like she, she, she knows she shouldn't have answered this in the first place. You know, let me let her talk about it. Be a father. I should make someone be a father who's already a father who's already a great dad. Says him. He just have limitations to things right now. So that's real. I feel like that's none of y'all business. And y'all on social media have no control over how people, what people go through on a day to day basis. Like y'all continue to like say bad things, but Jordan is a great person, a great father. So I feel like y'all know what y'all know, but continue to know what y'all know. Second of all, they have nothing to do with me, baby. Me and Jordan is not married. Me and Jordan is not in a relationship. Y'all don't know what y'all know. And clearly you don't know either, friend. How you, hold on. How you don't know that this fool ain't taking care of that baby? I mean, let's just call it a spade, y'all. Let's call it a spade a spade. How you don't know? You know just as much as we know at this point. They have nothing to do with me. Me and Jordan. Maybe we uh, know a little more. Uh, have fun together. Me and Jordan do content together. Me and Jordan is a vibe together. So that's that's it. That's all. Like all the extra, they have nothing to do with me. That's not my responsibility. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's not an easy job. You guys want me to be make. I will say this. She didn't say anything wrong, but it was her wording. Now, if we're gonna be real, you should have just never answered that question I wouldn't have in said the first nothing. place. Because how you gonna sit up here and say he's a good father, but to the mother, she feels a different way. You can't tell the mother how she feels his parenting is when she's the one dealing with him and that. That's why I tell y'all new girls, when you get into folks' relationships with people who got babies, mind your don't business. Don't speak on that shit. But when you said he got limitations on what he can do, girl, that's when you cross that line. Even if he do got limitations, there's probably a reason why she got him on this and why he can't do that and why right. he can't see this. So you don't need to speak on none of that because now it's like you saying the mama is stopping him from being better than what he can be. So now you done brought her into it. Right. You don't know what the have been through. This man right. done, allegedly, you know, back in the day put his hands on it in the car situation and this and that. And girl, it was a lot, girl. I'll pause right there. Limitations to what? what do you know that I don't know? Because I'm sorry, I didn't know that you were there since kid was born. She three now. Where you been at? Because I ain't never seen you. What limitations? I'm confused. What do you know that I don't know? I'm confused on why you feel like you needed to even answer that. Comment or respond to anything. 
I'm confused on why you even felt like you needed to do that. Do you not know how many people be up and down with your name underneath my head? And if I felt like I needed to respond to that, I would have did that a long time ago. I don't care to respond to you about you. Nothing that has to do with you. You should have picked better when you picked on that you was but that's not my problem. But don't speak or bring up anything that has to do with me. So let's just let this finish playing. Like that's none of y'all business. And y'all don't touch me. That's none of their business. It's none of your business. Hello. I'm confused. Uh, how are you saying that it's none of their business? It's none of your business. This has nothing to do with you. You stay in your place. But we're going to continue. If you're not dating him, if you're not, if they don't have nothing to do with you, why are you clearing up anything, answering anything, responding to anything? I'm confused. I'm, I'm really confused. Now, let me tell y'all why I got a problem with this. This is why I have a problem with this. So we're going to bring this all the way back to January earlier this year. This was strike one. Strike one was when me and Jordan were going into it. I don't know what we were going into it for, but I have the screenshot of when he came in and me talking about how with this ass nigga and how he knew this day would come and I'm such a op, da, da 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 Come to find out, Infinity is the one who told him that I was with, I guess, her ex. I don't know. But first of all, <clears> how I does she know Infinity told that? That's what I want to know. Would never want to. But one thing Sierra going to do is give a good read. After you. We're going to start there and we're going to leave it there. That was my start there. Because why are there. you running back telling Jordan anything like, I don't get, I just don't get stuff like that. But okay, cool. Strike one. Strike two was when you hopped on YouTube and made videos and now you got in your thumbnail, uh, Jordan baby mama, Jordan's ex, Jordan BM, all that little extra shit, that little nitpicking shit. That's strike two. Strike three is you feeling like you need, you have the need to respond to anything that has nothing to do with you. Stop playing with me. At the end of day what i need you to do is i need you to stay in your lane and i need you to can you continue sucking and making oh. these videos for your content and to pay your rent oh. so we can all have a happy family and oh. be together and be cool and let this be a smooth ride because this is not the issue you want to walk into no one asks you to speak up no one asks you to put your two cents in no one asks you to confirm or deny anything especially nothing that has to do with my honestly i'm not even gonna cap to you like I don't know. This is the wrong move for you to make. I done been tried to come to you. I done DM'd you. You never responded back. I tried to go through other people to get to you. You never responded back. We're going to, I'm going to play the clip of him saying, we done already talked about it. And she, uh, I told her not to mention you. And so if y'all already talked about it, then why today, October 28th, she talking about it? If you already talked about her not bringing me up, why, why is my situation being rung up? You don't got to say my name. That was close enough. Don't confirm or deny anything that has to do with me. When I tell you she read her. <laughs> I already had, had a conversation about leaving you out to like stop mentioning you. Like, so why is she doing it again? Exactly. So why is it again today? Exactly. And I don't want to hear, oh, she's bitter. She's bitter. No, nah, I don't give a fuck about that. If I had that, y'all probably wouldn't even be saying that, but it doesn't matter. Either way it go, even if I did have that, he wouldn't even be too, putting his two cents in because it ain't had to do with him. Hello? When he came with me, he knew what he was getting into. So that's that on that. See, and, and I agree with everything that Sierra is saying. Yeah, so me too. now, that means if Jordan come to her saying, I told her not to talk about it, but you over here talking about it after she he done told you not to, now that's like you got a problem with her. Now you being funny. Now you over there, what you and Jordan talk about in the house. What's Jordan putting in your ear, but then running around, go, run uh -huh. around going over here putting in her ear. So the common denominator is Jordan. Jordan making you hate yeah. her and her hate you. And really, it's no, not no, 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 nope. Infinity got to mind her business. This is the same Lena situation. Lena need to mind her business. They put it on the internet for us to look at and talk about, Lena. But you on the inside. Infinity, you supposed to be on the inside. So when you in the inside, you keep what goes on behind closed doors, behind them, behind the door, okay? When it get to us, y'all don't went too far. But it's no need for you to keep trying to defend something that technically just ain't your business. <laughs> but baby mamas and baby daddies, if another woman tried to get involved in Lena and um, King's business, not Neek, like another woman after Lena, girl, please, it would be a problem. And we all know that. Y'all, it's Jordan. And the first thing Lena would say, first thing Lena would say is, girl, she need to mind her business. So then the girl and Fendi post this up as a story. Matter of fact, he was 
And as you can see, you can see all them pictures. Now it's like, okay, see, now you playing in my face. You doing too much. You being, you being a real catty girl. Now you being real catty. Because first of all, what did you want? Did you think I was not going to respond? And now by you doing this, show me that you messy. And then after she said some more, the girl go and she put... Whatever don't pay me, don't phase me. I sure hope uh, she can fight. She posted on her story, the shade room put on their page. Sierra didn't stop there. She said, oh, I don't want to get in the field next caller. So I don't know. The girl, she may not be responding with. Appreciate the gifts, uh, Brady. Tweet and with words like Sierra is doing. But the reason Sierra is responding hard, because she's like, look, girl, don't send me no songs. Y'all gotta listen to what these songs saying. These songs saying, are you mad it's me and it ain't you? You gotta listen to subliminal songs she's saying, then you're not at me. Like, don't talk to not at me. Let the people know you, you got a problem with me. That's why Sierra is upset. That's why she's saying get in the field. Like, don't give me no songs. Don't run that shit. Run me my hands. That's what I need. And I understand what Sierra doing, but you know, to everybody else, it's like Sierra crashing out and she's talking to herself. That's why I'm saying she's doing too much. Just play it cool. Play it cool with the bitch. Play, play it cool. All right. If it ain't about me, let's keep eating this case. Next one, okay? We got Corey, Carmen, and Danny. I'm not gonna talk about all this because we'll be here for 24 hours. They controlled all of October. And baby, you got me. No, oh, you think I'm gonna talk about that? So okay. we gonna have to wrap this up real quick. So how we got to where we are now? They was doing all that fuss, and Danny was going on podcast after podcast after podcast after podcast after YouTube after YouTube after YouTube after YouTube, just talking. Corman was saying, Corey, he really wasn't even saying. Danny just out here just running her mouth. So then she drops that Corey called CPS on Corman in the midst of her leaking all his information, right? So now Corman's like, wait a minute. Don't bring me up in none of your but you and Corey got going on. So then Danny was like, well, I'm just trying to help you. Why you mad at me trying to help you? I'm trying to be a girl's girl. No, you just being messy. Did nobody have to know what was going on between him and the kid Corman, whatever the case may be. You could have called and told her that privately and said, hey, Corey's the one that called the CPS and got that thing filed on you. You didn't have to say that online. Right. You just wanted to be in a mix of everything. So then Corman went and made the blog and said what she said. I didn't deal about it. Nobody knew because he he's social media. I'm not the type of person to put my business out there, especially if he bothers my kids. I don't care about how you feel. I don't, I'm not obligated to post my kids or update chat on my kids. Like, I'm not. Okay, cool. So then when it came down to that lady, I'm not saying no names, y'all, but that lady, it made a, a post on Facebook and said, oh, I'm not talking about Carmen. Why not bring Carmen into nothing? But CPS, why would you want to put that out there? Like, if you wasn't talking about me, you could have just kept it at that and say, I'm not bringing Carmen on into nothing. Simple as that. It wasn't your place to talk about CPS, even though you didn't say Carmen kid. You didn't have to mention my kid to know that. Everybody know that the CPS case involved the kid. Like, even if four, I would have said it too. I would have came right after him. Like, why you got it from the whole world? The CPS See? is on your, you know? <sighs> okay, so when she came in and said, I'm so lost when I was the one who called the team and would do. Yeah, now I'm lost because you called my team and you told my team what happened, what was said, how it happened. <laughs> we appreciate you for giving a heads up. Cool. Now, guess what? By the time you call my manager, I'm already dealing with CPA. So by the time you even told him, it was like a confirmation of who called type of stuff. Because I was already dealing with it. Like, your guy, strangers, the father of my strangers going to the school to check on so CJ. So Carmen was trying to say that she called her after the fact anyway. To make sure. Got it. See it good. To make sure to see you're healthy. Yeah. Like, I'm so confused. Then you got people harassing me and calling my phone because they will need to see Katie so they can close the case out. Make it make sense for me. If I'm the only person that's taking care of this when it comes to food, clothes, everything else that I need to provide for my kids, why in the f will you want to have strangers why would be you in wanna? your kids' face? Like, why would you want to put the kids in the system? Why would you want to put a risk that the, can be taken away from both of us because you don't have a roof over your head? It's been a year and you haven't taken care of your kids, nor financially, emotionally, physically, nothing, nothing. And I'm a stressing this as much as I can. You don't know nothing about the kids, but you feel comfortable enough to let people get in your head 
or it's just that you just woke up one day and just okay i'm just gonna call the government and tell the government that this car not being taken care of are you dumb or are you stupid and i'm cookie saying that you both because you don't have a brain to think i'm the only parent that's taking care of two not one but two from monday to friday i have to make sure my kid monday through sunday I have to make sure my kid got clothes because they're growing up. I have to make sure my kid a uh, haircut. I have to make sure my kid have what they need. But you want to do all of these because what? Because you mad, because you bitter, because you jealous, because you miserable, because you broke, because you wet, because you wet. And when it comes about my kid, I'm going to always bark and bite if I have to. Because don't come over here and mess with something when this is perfectly fine. If I'm not eating, if I look like I'm the one that's going through it, you look like Carmen. I was Ty sure hoping y'all would say it. Oh, we done heard it all. Danny come back and said, what well, she said to Carmen trying to go off of her. Shut the f*** in it. Why do you do this too much? She over here mad at Carmen when Carmen said, I just don't want you my kids go see in see their it? business on the internet, which is true from a mother. A mother's going to protect her cubs, baby. That's what she's doing. Keep my business off the net. So now that all that has calmed down, Corey ends up posting a picture of this girl right here. And I'm just like, how the f y'all don't remember who this is? He used to call her twin all the time. Even when I, that's when I was hanging with Corey. He called her twin all the time. It's the assistant. Y'all don't remember the assistant pressure? I do. Y'all don't remember her? That's who that is. That's the girl that was hanging out with Corey when he was dating Carmen. And mind you, Corey told Corey that it was nothing but an assistant, but yep. he loaded up on an yep. assistant. Y'all catch the motherfucker! And then I think, um... Move, Car I can tell you. Move Carmen, well, attempted to reconcile with Carmen or whatever you want to call it. Over in Alabama at his sister house, had his side piece over there with his wife! <laughs> Don't forget, after he put his family out, he moved her bald head ass in there. Talking about y'all over there assuming shit ain't even true. I ain't, even... ain't nobody stupid, bro. Like, come on. Get the shit together. Why would you move your side piece and your wife together? Like, nigga. <laughs> That's what Corey was like. Well, you the one who said you wanted me. Shawty will have to go for a little while. <laughs> I need to be with my wife. If I'm trying to rekindle something, but you over there flirting in her face with Shawty, you stupid, stupid. I think I'm supposed to get some type of threesome. Remember that? Y'all yeah, come on, keep up with the feet. I they got. They have some type of threesome or something like that. And Corman didn't want. To, I don't know what was going on, but it was a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. And pressure, really, she is just. Pressure is just Pressure a girl is hilarious. who's sitting and waiting her turn. That's she what is. she's doing. She, she is. just waiting her turn. She's she showing is. Corey loyalty. Like, I can be loyal. You can go have fun. You can do what you want to do. Whatever the case may be, run these streets. But I'm going to be here when you get done doing all that. That's she why is. Corey always... That, remember when Corey told uh, Pressure, uh, she, she, she reminds she's wife material. Y'all don't remember that? He was like, she's wife material. She this and that. That's what he first broke up with Corey. He said, she's like wife material. She made me feel like this. Woo, 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 woo. But then he, that's when he stopped messing with pressure because he started messing with uh, Maddie. And that's why pressure disappeared. Y'all not neat pregnant. Pressure really got feelings for him, but she allowed Corey to do what Corey wanted to do, but she was really hurt. I ain't gonna say nothing, girl. Let me hush. Anyway, so he started with Maddie. And then when he was with Maddie, he ended up meeting that other girl. And he told Maddie she was this and she was that and she was this and she was that. And that's when he met that other girl, Danny. And then he told, fight, Maddie yeah. that, he told Maddie that Thank Danny you, was an assistant and she was going to do this <laughs> and she was going to do that and help with viral moments. And then he found uh, Danny. And that's why Danny really mad. I don't think Danny mad about the the, the lottery stuff, her little friend doing the, the fake... uh. The fake uh, raffles, that ain't what Danny mad about. Danny ain't mad about them fake raffles. No, she yeah. not. Danny ain't mad about that. She probably wanted a cut of it. Danny mad because Corey was cheating. That's what it was. And she was cheating too. So Corey was playing the game. She was playing. She over here trying to phone these niggas. She thought Corey was going to just sit there and stay because she had money. And he was going to be a little lap dog while she do what she do. She was trying to play Corey game on Corey. But Corey was playing the game on her too. So Corey was on somebody else. And he already still had pressure on the side. 
Pressure. Well, I guess he was like, and then when he was trying to have that little secret conversation with Danny friend, bring it. That's the deal. That's why she got mad because he was playing in her face while sleeping in her house. So now he's back with pressure. And he called her twins and they both jimmed out. Oh, let it hush. <laughs> Pressure, Carmen was loyal. <laughs> Carmen let him do whatever he wanted to do. Let him have threesomes, everything. Married the man. That couldn't even keep him at home. Nope. But if you think you can do it, you go right ahead and you sell up for that rodeo and do what you need to do. Let she gonna do it anyway and he done been around him so that's why he trying his best to not you know what I'm saying let Corey and Pressure do their thing let Carmen and Big Boogie do their thing and whoever else do what they do <laughs> Jesus Christ they finally done with Corey now they talking about they ain't never talked about it they moved on yo finally no. if it ain't about me let's kick it let's go. hey or ain't got oh, the truth in them. Monday. Make sure y'all always tune in every. <sighs> All right. Let me know what y'all think. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.